Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. This week's episode we're going to be talking about two competitions I had. One of them was a Bundesliga competition and the other was a World Cup. I was competing for Great Britain. I recorded my routines out there so I'm going to be showing you guys how I did. First of all we'll be talking about my Bundesliga competition. My team Sega um, were up against Cottbus. Um, it was a competition we had to win um, because we lost the competition last week. Um, so I was going into it excited, my team were pumped. Um, I was competing on Rings and Vault, um, two of my favourite pieces, so I couldn't wait to get out there. Um, also, um, the scoring system is a little bit different for these competitions. Um, for people to understand, it's um, the, more, the higher you score, the against your, the person you're up against, the more points you get. Um, but it's really complicated, but that's just an easy way for you guys to understand it. Um, I've recorded the clip, so here it is for you guys. So uh, we ended up winning that competition. Um, we were really happy, but unfortunately, we didn't make the, the big final or the small final, um, which was a little bit disappointing. But um, next year's a new year, we're gonna be pushing strong. We have a really good team, and we feel like we are capable of making the final. So next year, we'll be, we'll be gunning for that and coming, coming up strong. Um, in terms of my performances, um, I was happy with my vault and my rings performance. Um, it was in the same uh, competition arena that the World Cup in Cottbus was, it, was, is gone, was going to be in. So it was good to get a couple of routines um, behind me going into that competition. So I was happy it was in the same arena. Um, but yeah, in terms of the rings performance I did, it couldn't have gone any better. Um, just need to work on that landing a little bit and then I was happy going into the next one. So the World Cup competition, um, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, was an important com competition for me to go and do well in. Um, like I said, just mentioned, it was in the same arena as the Bundesliga. Um, so I felt confident, happy in the arena, the atmosphere was good, the apparatus were good. So going into it, I was feeling confident, I was ready, um, and I filmed the routine, so here it is for you guys. So that routine you saw was the routine I performed in qualification. Um, I was happy with it. Um, going into the competition, I, take, I took out my skill um, and replaced it with a swing to cross, um, hoping that it would, um, it was gonna give me a lower start value, but I was hoping it would clean up my routine a little bit so I wouldn't have as much deductions. Um, I qualified, I think, sixth for the final. Um, and in a final, anything can happen. So I was excited to, um, to be in that final and compete against the best gymnasts in the world on rings. Um, I've seen in the training gym, the Chinese, um, the Japanese, the um, Ukrainians, 
every country the Russians were there um, and it was amazing to see them train and and just compete up against them because uh, I missed that obviously at the World Championships. Um, so to be there, it gave me a real buzz and I was excited to go into the final and show them what I could do. Nice, come on. That routine was the routine I did in the final. Um, I finished seventh um, and I scored a 14-6-6. Let me know if you guys think, um, what you think of the routine, if you think I could have performed it better or you are happy with the performance. Me personally, um, I felt like I performed really well. I couldn't have done much better. Um, I was ready for the competition. Me and my coach, what we smashed it, we did but I was a little bit disappointed with the score. Um, I felt I deserved a little bit more, um, but at the end of the day, that's sport, that's gymnastics. Um, it's how you bounce back stronger. I've got, I've got more competitions this year coming up, um, so I'm excited to, to go to them. I'm gonna be changing my routine a little bit. I'm gonna be bumping up that start value um, to ensure that I do hopefully end up with a, a bigger score next time. Um, but let me guys what you thought of the routine, if you thought I deserved that score or you thought that that was what I deserved um, and I shouldn't have scored any better. Let me know, um, I'm, I want to know what you guys think. So this week's question is um, how do you keep on top of shoulder and elbow and wrist injury He's being a ring specialist? Um, I like this question because um, it's difficult when you are um, a ring specialist and you do work a lot on rings, um, your shoulders and your elbows do take a beating. Um, and I think it's just important to do the basics right. So before you come in, before you do your warm up, make sure you're doing stretches and your exercises to help your shoulders and ice. I ice a lot after training sessions. Um, but if you're doing them, them thing, two things, ice and stretching properly, um, it will help. Um, it is, it is really hard to stay on top of it and not to get little niggles in your shoulders and elbows because, because of the amount of exercises you are doing. Um, but if you're doing the basics right, it will help. And soon um, I'll get out um, a video of exercises to help for this. Um, and hopefully they'll help you and in your journey. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you uh, message me your questions in or videos you want me to do in the future. Thanks for guys for watching.